Hello YouTube and welcome to the masterclasses for the YouTube Symphony Orchestra. I'm Dominic Morgan and I'm the principal contrabassoon player for the London Symphony Orchestra. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how to audition successfully. I hope that uh, you'll take part in this fantastic project and uh, maybe some of these tips will help. Uh, we always try and present ourselves when auditioning, present ourselves with confidence and um, never apologise, no matter how bad we might be feeling. Um, and what we're looking for, really, is first and foremost, a really good sound, which on the contrabassoon is a, is a big, rich, well-rounded and, and complex sound. Uh, and then after that, we're really looking for accuracy in both uh, technically and rhythmically, good intonation and a good range of dynamics. Uh, you might like to present some of this uh, Tandun Symphony, which, um, for, from a contrabassoon point of view, is it's technically quite quite difficult. From bars 77 to 91, um, it's difficult because it's quick and it's the notes are repeated quickly and it's, it starts quite high, but it jumps around and um, ends up quite low and it's it's quite difficult to get the notes to speak, jumping from one register to to another and the low notes are difficult to speak at that speed. And it's well worth practicing this slowly and gradually building up the tempo. <laughs> good audition piece, uh, as most of the repertoire of the contrabassoon, unfortunately, is uh, still in copyright and we can't use it. Uh, things like Ravel and Strauss and Mahler, it's all still in copyright. So uh, the Brahms St. Anthony Variations has quite, a, quite an important contrabassoon part, uh, which really does demonstrate whether we can make a good sound, play in tune and play with a good range of dynamics. So we would use uh, the theme and the uh, variation six. Uh, I'll play first of all the theme. <laughs> And a variation six, which is more technically difficult, um, shows that we have a, a good mastery of uh, getting around the instrument and a good dynamic range. There is one particularly tricky bar, which is 11 bars before the end, where we have to get down to a, a bottom C quickly. And it helps to achieve this to finger some of the bottom C uh, from the beginning of the bar. So we're already prepared. So instead of playing the, the high C just with the three fingers of the left hand, we also add the C um, with the thumb, which gives us much greater ability to get down to the bottom C cleanly, as we're already prepared for it. Thank 
Hopefully you found this masterclass useful and uh, I do hope you'll participate in this wonderful project. And uh, please do get down and practice and record uh, uh, an audition piece and upload it to YouTube. Thank you very much.